so in this video we are going to see how we can use virtual elements in a vaporist full application programming model so before starting we need to understand what virtual elements are and what are the scenarios and where we can use them so virtual elements are like the name suggests virtual which does not exist and uh, these element doesn't exist in your actual database table or the columns are not existing in the actual database table or the persistent data when they can be used is uh, for example there are certain number of columns in your persistent table and uh, there is some business requirement which needs to be calculated at the runtime and needs to be displayed onto the screen based on different values or based on different columns you calculate certain columns value at the runtime and you display onto the screen so in this kind of scenario you can use the virtual elements one important point using the virtual element is uh, you can only define these virtual elements either in the consumption view or in the projection view these cannot be defined in the interface view the another important point is uh, these virtual elements cannot be your key elements of your cds view or your entity view whichever you are using what we are going to do in this demo is uh, since we have this application created and uh, there are different columns available what we are going to do is based on the role field there is certain salary maintained for the professor what we are going to do is we will be adding a bonus amount to this salary and we will be displaying into a new column here that column would be calculated dynamically based on the role and the current salary of this professor or the teacher so let's get started so very first thing which we need to do is we need to define the virtual element so for that we have already know now that these virtual elements can only be added in the consumption view or in the projection view so we will very first thing is opening this consumption view and uh, let's add the virtual element here so for that we have some annotations so object model annotation dot virtual element calculated by this is the very first annotation which we need to use and what this annotation does is it it accepts a class name which ultimately help us to calculate the values or the place where you need to write the code so calculate this is the class name this doesn't exist but we will be creating this class names this class soon now the next thing is uh, you need to provide a name so end user text dot label whatever you want to call it we will say total pay and then the third line you need to write is adding a actual virtual element which can be done using virtual keyword here so virtual and then we will write bonus amount this is the column name which will contain your calculated value so what it will be type above int 4 okay so these are the only three lines you need in order to work with a virtual element here now let's create this class copy this and uh, go to our classes create a new class and then calculate the 
bonus and then next and finish our class is ready and the next thing which we need to do is we need to implement a specific interface which contains the methods where we need to write the code to build this virtual elements data that interface is this one and i will provide this link in the description for your reference so interface this and dot now you need to implement the interface there are two different methods one is calculate and another is get calculation info these two methods are independent of each other it is not mandatory you need to define you need to have the code in both the method but it it certainly depends on the business requirement what is your logic but one thing to mention here is the get calculation info method will be getting executed before the calculate method in that case in in that case we can say that if you have certain specific requirement which you need to manipulate before calculating the final result then you need to write that specific code in this method so one of the use case could be if you need to work on a specific column from your table then you use this method how that can be done is for example you put a loop here and then get all the columns one by one and when one specific column reaches you do your business logic and then return the value so that updated value would be available to you in the calculate method and then you do our next business logic here and then return the updated value or updated table back to the front end it is not mandatory to write the code in both the method but it certainly depends on the business requirement in our this scenario we will only be writing a code into the calculate method because our uh, requirement is simple and straightforward and that can be completed by this method only now very first thing which we need to do here is we need to create an internal table which will contain all of these records all of the rows here so for that we will be putting lt let's put professors data and then type standard table of now the type of this data would be your consumption view name so whatever data type or the number of columns or type of columns this will return you can create this internal table with this data type with default key so one question could be if this is this is the case when you use the new concept entity view but if you are still using the ddic view then you can put a view name which gets created when you activate your ddic view so that view name can be replaced by this consumption view name here okay so now this is done now the next thing is we need to pass all of our existing data to this internal table that can be done using corresponding hash and then the importing table name is it underscore original data so this internal table or this importing parameter table will contain all of your records which are currently onto the screen all the professor and teachers record so once this is done now let's put a loop onto this table to iterate through all of the record so loop at this assigning field symbol and lfs professors and loop and now here what we are going to do is we will be checking the values 
of the role for a specific user we will put the if condition if this role is equal to professor so if the role is professor then what we need to do is we need to add the in the bonus amount okay we haven't activated this so let's activate it now uh, this got activated and we should be able to get the field here now so bonus amount would be we will be adding a specific bonus amount into existing salary so salary plus 500 and uh, if the rule is not professor then we will be adding a different bonus amount so that bonus amount would be 1000 here okay now this is done but we still need to return this updated data back to the front end so for that just like we have here importing parameter we also have here changing parameter so it is ct calculated data is equal to corresponding and where we have updated our data so we have updated inside this table so pass this table here and uh, we are done so our logic is updated now activate it our class got activated here now the next thing is to display this column bonus amount onto the front end for that what we need to do is we already have this column here but we are using the metadata extension as a best practice you should always use a metadata extension if you want to display something now if you want to add something extra what we are going to do is we will be adding a new column after the salary as bonus amount and let's copy this this is 60 70 let's make it 65 and uh, we are done now activate so this is also activated and uh, let's now see the output I refresh okay we have got our total pay column here and uh, click on goes we do not have any record so let's create our first record so professor first name and professor last name 40 and professor see now this column is get updated with 15500 because if the role is professor we have added a 500 as a bonus so total pay would be 15500 for the professor and now add a new record for teacher teacher first name teacher last name and teacher create and uh, yeah here you go salary is 10,000 and your bonus pay would be 11,000 because we have added 1,000 for a bonus to the teacher or other than the professors this is how you can use virtual elements in a BAP RESTful application programming model and that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you